Okay, this video is uh, a mini webcam I've placed in an S-Truck at the front of one of my engines and I've just run it around the layout to give you an idea of um, where it goes. The first clip is coming from the top of Fassifern grade um, down to the basically the, um, the home signal at Fassifern, 5263 pushing the S-Truck down the hill. See we stopped at the home signal and the flyer is actually sitting in the platform in front of it. So we have to, we can't go ahead of that and run over that. Second clip is leaving my new uh, fiddle yard which runs off Fassifern. And we're heading out towards the main line. See the Toronto branch in the background there? The section I only installed about a month ago, so it's a new area just to give myself some more um, more tracks to do some more shunning. We're now coming into the back platform at Fassifern. That's the Toronto branch platform we're going past. Turned the lights on because it looks a bit better with the lights on the station. The station's fully lit. And we're just coming past the Toronto starter signal, which is set at red. You can see the back of the flyer there, it's just come in. And we'd, we'd stop that one heading out towards the main line. The next one is going from that same area back into the yard. Gives you another view of the platform heading out. That's the uh, the concrete platform they had at Fassifern in the late 1960s, early 70s, was still under post. So we're going back into the yard. Toronto Station in the background there, 30 class. And that's the end of that one. Okay, this one is uh, 3820 actually, and it's leaving from uh, my, my uh, what do you call it? Okay. This one's 3820, it's leaving from my refuge loops where I've got, I can store three trains basically. And we're heading around through the return loop, which uh, reverses it back from the upline to the downline effectively. It's had a bit of a stall because of a bit of dirty track. So we're starting again. This one from the back is going around towards Fassifern Station. On the left hand side you see there's some hoppers there, there's a roundhouse there and a mini loco depot there head around the corner, so a couple of bad, uh, needs a bit of cleaning. And here we head into Fassifern Station, the left hand line goes around the back and goes into the shunning sidings which I've called Newstand. So we're going through the platform now, we're not stopping on this trip. Through the other pass, now we're heading into Fassifern Bank. There's the Ganges Hut on the left there the overbridge.
Now we're heading up the hill to the top of the grade. And, uh, that goes, the right hand track goes around in a turn, return loop back, goes around to the, the down line. Up line, sorry. And then this one heads under the layout all the way up the big long ramp right up to the top of the to the second level. So I don't have a spiral. This thing just keeps going up and up and up and up. Gotta slow down a bit for this curve because it's um little and truly hidden it's very difficult to maintain that one. We've got a refuge there at Cardiff. Coming up towards Tickle Tunnel. Put a coal train in there or the Toronto Pass if the flyers coming past. Now we're up on the top level, coming up towards Newcastle. But we've got in tow the Brisbane Express, so we're not going to go into Newcastle, we're going to go beyond Newcastle and head off to Singleton. So we head off, turn off through a double slip, crosses all the platforms at Newcastle. Then we go around another return loop. This one takes us around the Port Waratah. We're not going into Port Waratah, we're going to keep going. So there's the branch going into Port Waratah there. So we hop back around. Come to the junction and turn left. Instead of go, we go straight down, it goes back down to Fasifa. Turn left and we head up the hill towards Brankston. We're now coming into Brankston Station. It's one I've, I've spent a lot of time on. We're going straight through because we're on the express. We head around the corner past the vineyards. the rolling fields. Now we're heading into Singleton Yard. Uh, there's a nanny on the Singleton Pass in the main platform, so we've, uh, we're going to go into the refuge and stop there. Unfortunately, the Singleton Bridge for, uh, got blown away in a flood, so the line has to terminate at Singleton. The last clip in this sequence is uh, 30 cars from Toronto. We're heading uh, through, they've got a passing loop in Toronto Yard to run the 30 class around its train. Go through the pedestrian footbridge, past the water tower, into the platform. Get off past the starter signal. That's still at Toronto, actually, that's the start of signal. And around on the abbreviated Toronto line. And we're coming into Fassifern Station. So we're going to stop.
train terminates at Fasafan. The engine will run around the train and then head back to Toronto. So I hope this video has been interesting for you. It just gives you an idea of how my layout looks. A uh, lot more work to be done, a lot more videos to be taken.